Hello, everyone. Welcome to Higher Mind Oracle with Catherine Nicole. These are your solstice celebrations and full moon in Capricorn manifestations. Capricorn is the part of us that knows we need to build something during our lifetimes. It's about our ambitions and what we want to achieve for however long we're lucky to be alive. This lunation is about work-life balance, love triumph, gentle words and facing the facts the full moon in capricorn is on june 21st or june 22nd depending on where you are in this world at the time of the full moon the sun and moon are on completely opposite sides of the sky the sun in the sign of cancer which is all about home and family it's where we feel we belong it's our childhood and what our lives are built upon and it's looking after and nurturing ourselves and others. And the moon is in Capricorn, which is the part of us that knows we need to build something during our lifetimes. It's about our ambitions and what we want to achieve for however long we are lucky to be alive. And we are lucky to be alive in this time right now. And we have solstice celebrations, uh, June 20th, celebrating a new cycle. Um, if you're here, it's summer solstice. And if you're on the other side of the world, it's winter solstice. So no matter where you are, these messages are for you. So first, we're going to tune in to the main energies of the solstice and the full moon in Capricorn. Main energies here. Woo is lightning power coming in from the full moon in Capricorn. Tower moments, things being shaken up, a lot of power in your manifestations right now. Release what is not serving you. And no matter how turbulent or rocky life may seem, you have the power to keep your peace. And then we have the summer solstice energy. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. Whoa. Volcano. Volatility. Okay, so you can take this in whatever way that it resonates for you. But in this world, in your life, passion is building up. And like lightning, the volcano is going to erupt. This can be erupting in passion and creativity and divine light, or it can be um, erupting in volatile energy. It depends on where you're at. That's why I feel like with the power and the lightning of the full moon, it's like no matter what, stay grounded. No matter what, keep your peace. Because other people around you, things might be exploding. But I'm also feeling this explosion of love, this explosion of new life. The sun is coming in to bless you with these solstice celebrations of just whatever needs to go is going. And there is beauty coming in. And I really want you to look at this picture. Okay, I want you to look at the volcano that's erupting. Look at the face. And the other face. So love exploding. Twin flame soulmate union. Coming into balance in your own life. The things that you've been holding on to release. It's this sweet, sensual, passionate release. And when you're at peace, you experience this in such a magical way. Whoa. Things are heating up and getting powerful. And the underlying energy is the clouds, shape-shifting, being flexible, going with the flow of where the universe is taking you, floating on the cloud, getting that higher mind perspective, floating on into your celebrations, your manifestations. Wow. So no doubt that you've got air and water 
and fire and earth working with you right now. All the elements are working with you right now. And with this uh, full moon here, we're going we're gonna to tune into the full moon and get what is being released for you and healed so that you can manifest your dreams. Okay, the full moon in Capricorn is bringing in some power for you to manifest, for you to change things, for you to heal, to be restored, enlightened by the divine aha moments, life changing moments, magic miracles coming in. We're going to tune into this and get some details here. Okay, what is being released right now or needing to be looked at to be released right now? The nine of wands. Okay, you've been putting in a lot of effort into your life, into your spiritual growth, into your creative projects, into your relationships. And it's like this feeling like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to make it to the end? And you're making it to the end. So release the fears, the challenges, the obstacles, and realize how powerful you are. And it's like you're holding on to that wand. You're almost there. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. It's seeing it, the long game, foresight. It's a powerful time. If something didn't work one way, it's like a little tweak and everything's working out for you. This is you seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and releasing all of the burdens, releasing all the stress, trusting. Look at all that growth. Look at all those flowers. So you're coming to the end of something, releasing. And look at that. Wow. And when you do this full moon release, healing, reset, restoration, you are manifesting a gorgeous, prosperous, beautiful, luxurious, sensual new cycle. The divine feminine rising within you. This is a powerful force of love and light and compassion. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to expand into this new cycle. It's an extremely fertile and creative time for you. It's a powerful time. See, you're just about there. Don't give up now when this is your gift. So releasing toxic feminine energy, lower vibrational feminine energy within you and around you is the key right now. trusting in the divine. It's written in the stars. Look at the stars above the head. It's like, trust this. Releasing the old cycle of feeling like you were putting in all this effort and not really getting anywhere. You're getting somewhere. Things are shifting. Yeah. It's, it's the release of the old cycle and allowing yourself to be liberated into freedom with the Empress energy from the Five of Pentacles, the things that didn't work out, the shut doors, feeling lost, feeling confused, disregarded. But there's hope here. You see all the glitter and sparkles coming down from the divine to wake you up again. And there is something in your hand. You're being given the key. There's something in your hand. They're blessing you right now. Things are changing. Five is all about blessed changes. And it feels like you've been putting an effort into stuff, different jobs, different relationships, different projects. And it, it just hasn't really worked out yet the way that you thought it would. So what this full moon is doing is bringing you blessed changes that just like that, like lightning overnight, everything is changing for you. Let's see what these are because they're standing out to me. Ha 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 ha, look at that. Okay, so these are together and they really want it to be together. The Eight of Swords is taking your power back like lightning, taking your power back. Nothing or nobody has power over you. Your mind is powerful to cut through the illusions, to cut the cords of the past, 
trauma bond release. I can help you with all of this. This is my area of expertise because this is the justice that you deserve. Cutting off the heads of the snake, snakes in the grass, the things that didn't work out, the injustices, feeling like what story do I want to tell? Like, I hate telling this story. I don't like the story that's been going on. Why is this happening? So you're taking your power back. You have this opportunity in this full moon to take your power back and rise up. Archangel Michael and the army of angels are with you for this justice. This is karmic justice. We're also coming up on Saturn retrograde. So that's big daddy karma saying and justice is, is being served here. This new cycle is justice for you and you deserve it. Let's see what's at the bottom here. The seven of wands. Okay, so in this release and healing and opening up to this new cycle and karmic justice, because you've been clearing karma, that's why these things haven't worked out. You've just been doing a really good job clearing karma. So stand your ground. Stand up for what you believe in. You don't have to be super defensive anymore. You're free. See, like running free, the portal is here. You're free. So making the decision to be free, making the decision to allow yourself to receive this information, this communication, this new cycle. And let's see if there's anything else that wants to be said coming with this full moon energy. Oh, it's the wheel of fortune. It's your destiny. It's a fortunate time. It's a lucky time to manifest. And you see what's interesting is like, it looks like two snakes are intertwined. And it's like you're at peace no matter what. The feminine and masculine coming together for a fortunate new cycle. Wow. Yeah, and it's f finally you're giving yourself the ability and you're changing things to really release all that hasn't worked out, all that's not serving you, the things that we're disappointing heartbreaks and it's like the two of cups is right here see that's your gift so it's a fortunate time for you to change things in the energy of love because that's the most powerful energy that there is and the eight of wands this is having a lot of wonderful things happen at once communication travel back and forth things really taking off changing It's the year of the eight, so it's a powerful time right now. And look at that. I love it. Archangel Michael coming out saying, we're with you, clearing the way. It's time for your glow up. It's time for you to rise up. It's like the phoenix rising, coming out of the ashes. See, the phoenix sword getting full clarity on your path forward. And it being clear, clearing all obstacles. That's what's happening. There's some kind of communication you're communicating listening to your intuition, going within, tapping into source, into your, your higher mind, and you're getting the clarity. And this is time, it's time to rise up. It's time to get clear with what you desire because you're manifesting it. And the hermit, yeah, <laughs> go within, get clear. And then you're coming out of the cave, restored, following the light with extreme wisdom. Reach out to someone that can help you through this time if you need help. But I feel like you're on path to help other people because of what you've been through. And this full moon is bringing incredible healing to your life in all aspects, mind, body, heart, and spirit. See that full moon right there? It's beautiful. So things are being healed and restored in your life with this full moon energy. And look at the bottom. <laughs> I love it. Look at that ace of cups, ace of chalices. Your cup it is a overflowing. What's in your cup? Somebody sent me something today, actually this morning. I'm going to share it with you because I feel like it will resonate because it's all about the cup. What's in your cup? But this is romance. This is love of a lifetime. I mean, this is incredible energy so powerful cup energy right now here is what a friend of mine sent me 
You are holding a cup of coffee when someone comes along and bumps into you or shakes your arm, making you spill your coffee everywhere. Why did you spill the coffee? Because someone bumped into me. Wrong answer. You spilled the coffee because there was coffee in your cup. Had there been tea in your cup, you would have spilled the tea. Whatever is inside your cup is what will spill out. Therefore, when life comes along and shakes you, which will happen, whatever is inside will come out. It is easy to fake it until you get rattled. So we have to ask ourselves, what's in my cup? When life gets tough, what spills over? Joy, gratitude, peace, and humility? Anger, bitterness, victim mentality, and quitting tendencies? Life provides the cup. You choose how to fill it. Today, let's work towards filling our cups with gratitude, forgiveness, joy, words of affirmation, resilience, positivity, and kindness, gentleness, and love for other. Um, an unknown author is, is that, but I love it and how synchronistic that is to be sharing with you right now. I hope you enjoyed that. So your cup is overflowing with what? Because whatever you're focused on, whatever you're expressing to the universe, to other people is what you will receive tenfold back to you. It's the way that the laws of the universe work. Next, we're gonna move into activations for you at this time. And then the manifestations and the blessings that solstice is bringing you. With my fire breathing dragon oracle we're going to get what is being activated for you right now let's see what comes out for you Ooh, that volcano has got some passionate power with this uh, solstice celebrations we have the water dragon coming out for you helps you flow easily around obstacles. Now this is that cancer energy and cancer season um, when these messages are coming to you with love and support. Your emotional body, Christ light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities, go with the flow. Trust your intuition. Whatever obstacles come your way, you're gonna flow around them with ease. Omega dragon is with you at this time. Harnesses the divine feminine power of creation. Intention. Hold your vision. Birth the higher consciousness. Now we already got from the Capricorn full moon energy is the Empress. The sacred divine feminine. A new cycle. It's a powerful like lightning new cycle. Hold your vision. What are your intentions? What are you focused on? You are birthing a higher consciousness within you that will manifest for you in the outer world. Whatever you've been working on, whatever you're creating, it's going to manifest. The portal to your heart is open. Ooh, the crystal. Yellow dragon, yellow like the sun, opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. So you're being activated in ways and wisdom is being revealed and integrated into you to change your life. So it's ways that you've not experienced yet. Illumination that you've been asking for, the clarity that you've been asking for. When you actually walk the walk and you do the work yourself and you are of service to others in some way, shape, or form, sharing your light, beautiful blessings are coming your way. Open your arms to receive these blessings. You are in a major time of expansion. And that's why I feel like this volcano energy is here because it's time for you to expand. It's almost like when I went through my nervous system reset, that all of the stuff that's not serving me from lifetimes and whatever was left in this life 
it just, it, it, it caused this panic anxiety attack and my nervous system went crazy. It's kind of like that. It may present itself differently for each one in every one of you, but it's like whatever needs to come out is going to come out. And what's interesting is in the Moonology Diary, it said that from the, based on the astrology, it's like, or such, I read something right about that. When I channel, I don't remember everything that I said. That's why I always listen to the messages as well, because then I hear them actually what I'm saying. But I feel like that was channeled, like whatever's inside is going to come out. Oh, in the cup, that's what it was. It was the cup. When we spoke of the cup, what's in your cup, because whatever is inside of you, when you're triggered, when something happens and shakes up your world is going to come out. What's in there? I feel like there's a lot of passion in there. My throat chakra was kind of dry. So I feel like the water dragon is also coming in and saying, drink more water, clear your throat, speak your truth. Because when you speak your truth from a heart centered place, it's not going to be as volatile, right? Don't hold back. If you have something to say, say it because it, you might explode if you don't. <laughs> and someone is exploding for, with passion for you. Ooh, dark blue galactic dragon. Helps you listen to the voice of the universe. So galactic council is with you. Galactic beings are with you. Blessing you. Ignite the codes of your master blueprint. Access cosmic wisdom and enter a higher service. So this is a time of higher service, of massive activations. People waking up to awareness that they have never felt before. You are a channel. You are connected to all of the galactic light beings and things are being activated. Your master blueprint, your purpose who you are, remembering who you are, codes coming in. Allow yourself to receive this. And at the bottom, look at that. And I, I felt that there was something in your hand. You're being blessed with the five of pentacles that came out at the beginning. Something is being placed in your hands like magic, the key to your success, the key to your perfect sacred union love relationship. The key to your burning desires is coming to you. This golden opportunity that is blessed by spirit. I mean, look at that. Coming out of the volcano, the fire, and here's the key to everything. Illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul. See higher possibilities. So there's resources you're not aware of that are going to come into your awareness. You have unlimited potential, unlimited resources in the palm of your hand. Remember that. So this is what's being activated for you during this time. Beautiful. Now we're going to move to solstice blessings and manifestations for you. Okay, here we go with the Everyday Witch Tarot. We're just going to get blessings and manifestations coming to you. Look at that. The plan being revealed. Balance. Stability with the Emperor energy. Taking charge. Building your empire. Divine. Sacred. Masculine. And with the staff in this masculine's hand with the blue energy radiating that's archangel michael and also your throat chakra so some kind of communication and that's that lightning power right and again this pops up so this is a reminder that the old stories are over tell a new story and your truth your power is within you. So closing your eyes to drama, to toxicity, to the distractions of the fears and the outside world, the illusions, and going within. You have the ability to take your power back here. Your mind is very powerful. So with this emperor energy, I feel like that's what's happening is you're finally overcoming 
obstacles that have lived in your head with this emperor energy. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Wow, my throat chakra is really dry. So somebody needs to drink a lot of water, including myself. And then look what comes out, the three of cups. Okay, so celebrations, rehydration, um, making sure you drink water with that alcohol if that's what you're drinking. <laughs> But just getting together with like-minded people, soul tribe, coming together in these celebrations. And there's a full moon back there. So it's like it's happening now. And these are solstice blessings and celebrations. Get together with people. Celebrate all that you're, you have gratitude for of how far you've come. The support that you have because you have a lot of support. And there's that king of cups that keeps coming. I'm floating your way, baby, with my cup. You see what's in my cup is love. What's in my cup is prosperity. What's in my cup is emotional intelligence. And I've been floating around for a while, figuring this out, having fun, enjoying myself. And I'm ready to share this love with you. Cheers to you. I've been looking at you, I've been watching you, and I'm coming your way. Wow, there's a plan here and love is coming in. Wow, loving communication, floating your way. And I love it because this is like cancer season, right? The emotional body, the king of cups, home and family, and it's all coming together. Rest. Recuperate, healing, peace, finally, finally. It's really important that you take time to yourself. It's really important that you make time to meditate and connect with your higher self, with spirit, that you allow yourself to heal, that you take the steps to get the healing that you desire. And whatever this is, whatever this communication is, this plan that's being highlighted and activated and made very clear to you, these celebrations, it's bringing in love. It's bringing in the peace because of the love, the loving support of your community, your tribe, your family, your friends, and the love and support of this masculine energy coming in to bless the feminine. And look, look what you're being blessed with. Solstice celebrations, I am free. I'm taking the leap of faith. I'm finally trusting my heart. I'm a wise fool now. And I'm going to walk this path again with purpose and success and love and peace and prosperity and fun, exciting, joyful times. I mean, look at this. Zero point. New energy. It's like you're waking up from your dreams, from manifesting and it's here. You've arrived. And see how the king has been watching the feminine? There's a plan here for your success, for love, for moving forward, for celebrations. I've been watching you. You're coming to the edge of everything, and I'm right there in the water, right? Would you see me? You can just jump right in. I'll catch you. That's what I'm hearing. Get a little more details. Okay, this sounds really exciting. Look at that. Justice, again, being confirmed. In the first set of messages, it was cutting through the cords of the battle of the injustices and things finally coming into balance. It is the law that karma does its magic. When you put in the work and you're being the best version of yourself and you're putting in the effort, you will be rewarded. It's the law. And look at this. When you take your power back and you go within and you realize that nothing and nobody has power over you, that this is your reality that you're creating and your mind is very powerful, what story are you telling? And then it's like peeking up and, and looking at the manifestations before you. And even if there's this vol vol validity or this um, volatility is the word I was looking for, if, if that's happening, it's like, uh, I know everything's working out because the universe has your back. So, you know, 
So know that justice is being served, that this leap of faith, these celebrations, this plan, this love that's floating right to you, this offer that's floating to you is part of your karmic justice. And it's like, finally, that's what I feel. Finally. Yeah, because you've been hurt. You've been stabbed in the back. Things have not worked out. But you're learning about it, journaling about it, releasing it, and that's bringing you peace. You're no longer sitting around. You're getting out there. You're doing stuff. It's not, it's not keeping you trapped anymore. And there's a lot of rich wisdom in this that you can take forward with you. Look at that. Four of Wands, 11-11 alignment, heaven on earth. Everything is working out for you. Everything is coming together celebrations, weddings, parties. It's celebrating how far we've come with this solstice energy, celebrating the love we have, the stability we have. And it's a really beautiful time of blessings. And look at this, something from your past coming back to you and blessing you, someone from your past offering you, oh, what's in my cup? Ooh, I've been watering my seeds of love and intention. And look at how they're blossoming and blooming. And I want to share my cup of abundance and love with you. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's what this king is coming to say is, I know you. I've known you, whether in a quote unquote past experience or in this life. I know you. I see you now for who you are. And I choose to bring you peace because that's what you deserve. The love and stability that you deserve. I mean, you're being blessed. Wow. Yeah, and it's, it's resting from and overcoming the devil energy, the shadows, the lovers in the shadows, the temptations. And see that, look, it's in the background, smoking. It's ready to blow. You see that? I'm getting ready to blow. So all of this kind of toxic energy, you're going to become extremely aware of within you. Codependencies, addictions, bad habits that you'd like to change, being overly focused on the material world and not focus, focusing enough on love. But this is just telling you that something's been out of balance. You know that something's out of balance and things are coming into balance when you take charge of it, when you rest, when you heal, when you let go, when you do the work. And so you're overcoming this and realizing that the shadows are all part of us. It happens. We live in a world of contrast. And I feel like you're finding relief from that. But tell us a little more about that. Yeah. Moving away from deception, manipulation, mind games, sneaky behavior. It's, there's a plan here. You're taking all your lessons. You're taking all the wisdom. Cloaked by spirit, cloaked by Archangel Michael, the blue light, the blue ray. You know your truth. You may be silent right now as you're deciding to move forward. You're following your heart which is spirit's plan and taking the leap of faith out of the stuff that's not serving you, out of relationships that aren't serving you. It's part of the plan. Everything happened as part of the plan. It's true. Yeah, and it's like justice over these sleepless nights, this anxiety, this worry. It's the ending of this. And look at the, look at, the. The spirit is cloaking you in the truth. The truth is love. The truth is abundance. The truth is you're worthy. The truth is you have nothing to be worried about. Just follow the steps in your heart. Follow the steps. Take one step at a time. It's all part of the plan and you're, you're ending this cycle. And what's coming out of it? Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Okay. So we have the chariot first is decisions. Like which way do you want to go? Whatever way you choose. Follow your heart, and it will be the best choice for you. Do you want to go back on the same path you've already been on? Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Follow your heart. So the chariot's coming. Are you ready? Because spirit's pointing you in a new direction. That's what I feel like. And once you get on the chariot, you don't go back. So it's like you're at a crossroads making the decision. <laughs> I mean, look, it's the empress again being highlighted, being confirmed. It's a luxurious, fruitful, delicious, expansive time for you, pregnant with possibilities. It's a fertile time. You are manifesting your dreams by being you, attracting it to you, allowing yourself to heal, allowing yourself to receive. It is a gorgeous, abundant cycle. Celebrate life. It's a beautiful blessing. 
And everything you've learned just enriches you. And at the bottom is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new start, a path to a new home, a new opportunity in the material world, a higher level of commitment, but it's a blessing. It's a gift from the universe. You're being blessed during these times with a new start, money coming in, opportunity coming in, learning something new, and it's taking you on a path that is extremely prosperous. And it could be a child being born. A child being born around you is a blessing. And then (laughs) look at that. The magician, new beginnings, magic, manifestation. Right now, you have everything you need. The magic is in your hands and in your heart. Magical times await you. And then right under that is the Six of Swords. It's like, I'm coming. I'm arriving. It's all part of the plan. It's time to move on. I'm coming to see you. I'm going to give you that opportunity to move, to relocate if that's what you want, to take that trip. You're being blessed right now with peace. Ride the wave of peace. And to round this out, we're going to get some final messages from my Beltane Witch Oracle. I'm sending you all lots of love. You can email me at HigherMindTribe at gmail.com. And you can check out HigherMindByDesign.com. I look forward to connecting. Woohoo! What's coming in this solstice? Celebrations, blessings, and manifestation is the milk and honey of life dripping with honey and success. The sweetness of you swells in the grace of your pull. Oh, so beautifully lethal. This is the divine feminine power, your magnetic power that uh, wonderful, beautiful opportunities and people are just being attracted to you. And look at the beautiful, gorgeous full moon. I mean, wow. Oh, yes, look at what your, come on, look at what your cup is overflowing with. Delicious, seductive, sensual, sweet, gorgeous, prosperous, abundant, honey, baby. Goddess energy is all about your divine feminine goddess energy. Triple moon manifestations. Make sure to feel it in your bones. For you are what you believe. Feel it. I'm going to hone in on this empress goddess energy. Okay. So to manifest, right? You think it. You speak it. You feel it. Well, first you think it. Then you feel it. Then you speak it into existence. And you let it go to the universe and it manifests. But look at overflowing with ooey gooey goodness. Oh, the goddess within you is growing and expanding. Feel everything you desire within you. Feel all the emotions because they want to be felt and understood. And you can integrate the richness of it all. Wow. You are being recognized for your beauty. That is oozing out of you from the inside. I mean, wow. An earth worship. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear mother of mine. Grounding yourself. Giving gratitude for Mother Earth. Gratitude for all your manifestations. For your good health. For your good fortune. For your new life. Oh. Worshipping your body, loving yourself. It's a beautiful time for you. And one more here. The Oracle. Spirits of other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. So once what felt like it was forbidden to you and your sexual magic forbidden, you're not holding back anymore. This is the end of an era, the end of a cycle for brand new beginnings. Things that other people don't see and and don't feel, you see and feel. 
And you may be reaching out to someone that is like an oracle to help guide you. But secrets are being revealed in the forbidden that other people have restricted you from or that you've restricted yourself from, the deliciousness of life, the seduction of uh, life, the sweetness of life is all coming to you. Wow. And then we have the mighty oak tree. Look at that. Don't just look within. Dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. It's this, it's just like you know. You know what's meant for you. You know that this is the end of a cycle, that you're being healed, restored. And look at that. It's like beautiful masculine energy blessing you. Oh, things coming into fruition. The mighty oak is blessing you. I'm sending you all so much love.